Today I'm going to show you what my everyday makeup routine is. Um, so yeah, this, I have no makeup on right now, starting from scratch. You want to make sure that you have a clean face when you start. So something I use every day is my Neutrogena Oil-Free Moisturizer, SPF 15. So I put that kind of in my dry spots on my face. There you go, looking good. I use MAC um, Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15 in the color of NC20. It's kind of a heavy foundation, but this is what I do. You're going to put some on your hand, use your hand as a palette. There we go, just a little bit, a little bit of do ya. And then I take some of that moisturizer again and I put it over here so it's kind of like this on your hand. And you want to get a makeup brush, kind of like this. I got from Target, Eco Tools. And I just kind of mix up the two. You know, it's just a little bit more translucent, not as heavy on your face. And then I just kind of go wild. You know, just kind of go over problem spots and just basically just paint on your face. Be an artist on your face. You know what I'm talking about? I just like, I just, I could just sit here for hours and just kind of be like, ah, painting the face. Well, I, like, I know that you're probably supposed to do this a certain way, but I just gotta go everywhere. I just go buck wild with light foundation all over my face. Just cover it all. I take my, I have this like, just little concealer stick thing. It's in light beige. Cover stick concealer. Cover go. It's really old. I don't even know how long I've had this. And it's not exactly the right color, but I just kind of go over little problem areas little blemishes trying to corrupt my face. And then since it's not exactly the right color, I take um, this powder. It's True Blend Minerals in 415 Translucent Medium. It's a loose powder by CoverGirl. And I just kind of like take a little bit on the little thing and just kind of go over where that foundation was and just kind of set in the foundation. So then after that, you're not done with your face yet. You're not done. You take a highlighter brush, this is not what you're supposed to use it for I think, but I use it for bronzer. And I use actually um, L'Oreal True Match in cool um, powder form C7 Nut Brown. And I take this, kind of just lightly brush it on there, and do like your cheekbone, kind of chin, nose, forehead, around very fast, and then do your neck. Because you want to blend. You want you don't want to look like you're just like pale down here. You want to blend. You know, make make yourself look real nice. Like there, face is done. Kind of. Actually, no, it's not done. <laughs> I lied. Thanks, Andrea. She got me these for Christmas last year, I think, or birthday or something. I don't know. And then I have Estee Lauder um, blush. It's really old. I don't know how long I've had this. It's in Garnet, and the color seems like it's going to be like too crazy for your face. It's like a little dark there, kind of magenta-y, but just a little dab will do ya. I'm just going to go like this, like this, there, and you're done. Take cream eyeshadow. Revlon has it, um, and not just nudes is what it's called. I put on the this color right here, and I just kind of go over the whole lid. Like that. And then I take the um, highlighter, the, the lighter color here, and the highlighter for your, up by your brow, kind of up there. Just put a little bit. Okay, so then um, after that, I like to use, where is it? All That Glitters by MAC. It's my favorite eyeshadow in the world. It's It goes on so nice, and it like stays on all day, all night. And it's in like a nice like champagne beige kind of color. So I just take some of this. It's broken. I need to get a new one. And I have just like a regular eye brush. And um, I just kind of dust the whole lid over the cream base. And this like kind of like sets in the cream eyeshadow so that doesn't really get creases anymore because there's got powder on top of it now so it's set in. It's called Mulch. It's a velvet eyeshadow from MAC and I like it. It's kind of dark shimmery brown. Just take a little bit on your brush there. A little bit and you just kind of do the corners. Kind 
just over here too in the crease, just a little bit. Same with the other eye, you're gonna just play with it, go over on the top too. I take my eyeliner, it's from Target, it's e.l.f. eyeliner in black. Here, and I start in the middle and go, I go out. Start in the middle and go out, just a nice thin line. There you go. And then I go towards the crease, lightly finish the line out there. So you have a thin line now. I'm just gonna go with it. Just wing it, you know? You're doing some wings, you gotta wing it. There you go. That was kind of shitty. Here we go. And blend it in. There you go. I can't even like breathe when I do that. Whew, the suspense. Okay, then. There you go, you got your nice little wing for one eye. Now the hard part is matching it to the other one. Don't freak yourself out though, believe in yourself and you can do it. You can do it and know it. Here we go. Oh, that's kind of bad. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna match it up, we're good. Oh yeah, that was good, that was a good mark right there. Oh, yeah. Oh shit. Okay, there we go, we redeemed it. You ready for mascara? So I take, before I do mascara, I like to use um, a eyelash curler. And be careful with these, because they can, these can be pretty painful if you do it the wrong way. But you just kind of put your eyelashes in them, and kind of just go like this. And then I lift it up, and I go again. There we go. Same thing on the other side. One, two. And I bought mine at Target. It's like a Revlon. It was like a couple bucks. No, it's not even Revlon. No, it's NYC. It was super cheap. Because I'm a super cheap person. You just kind of go wild, you know? Just put on. I just kind of go like this. See? Blink into it a few times. You can just kind of. Or I'll take the end of it and I'll go like this. Blink again. Do the bottom lashes. Kind of play around. You now put them there. There you go. Putting on your mascara. About to complete the makeup process. About to complete the makeup process. British accent all of a sudden. At the end, you know, maybe just put on a little, little bit of chapstick. I don't think I'm going to do lipstick today. I'll recommend to you a lip gloss that I really enjoy. It's MAC Cream Sheen Glass in Partial to Pink. It's really good, just like a regular pink lip gloss. And it stays on. See? I've had it for a long time. I really like it. If you haven't noticed, MAC is like my favorite makeup place to go to. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed my makeup tutorial. Hopefully it'll help you. I don't know if it's helpful whatsoever, but um, maybe some of the products you'll be able to try out too. I, this is like what I use every day, and it's always been reliable for me. And I'm pretty cheap too, so it's, it's in a college kid's budget, I'd say. Comments below. Let me know if you want me to do any other tutorials, because I'm up for anything. Yeah. Also, I got my hair cut and dyed. I love it. You love it? Platinum Blonde. Ooh.